now I wonder what one day I'll actually do a video with my hair looking decent. Probably not. I mean, why, why change a habit of a lifetime? I've been through a, um, a number of my old videos um, recently. I didn't realise I had posted about 248, something like that. Um, I think the earliest ones are probably from about six years ago. And I've certainly learned a lot in terms of making YouTube videos in that time. But one thing that hasn't changed is the state of my hair. To be fair, it's not as bad as the last video or the one before was absolutely hideous. But it's bad enough. You'd have to put up with it. Also, my sense of style hasn't improved. Um, but you do now get the um, Bob, the um, Citizen M guy over there. So I hope that makes up for my... Um, interesting appearance. Anyway, today I am going to be doing an unboxing video. Ah, shock horror! This one is one that I've been hanging on to for a while and I don't know why I haven't unboxed it. Um, but I'm going to unbox it for you now. It's called Artful. I really like this um, description. It's um, only comes four times a year. It's from, from the UK. And they've actually sorted out the custom charges, um, which is really good. That means that I don't have to um, go all the way to the um, post office here and spend up to like 15 euros just to get a subscription box. So, you know, thank you very much for Brexit. But anyway, they've, they've done their custom duties and stuff and it's great. Um, it's a really nice box full of really good quality items. Um, you know, I think... Now, in terms of cost, the um, it's you know, because it's such good quality, it is quite an expensive box. But the saving grace is, of course, it's only four times a year. So, and, and I think it's really worth the money. Now, I've mentioned this box, I think, before on several videos. Um, this is in the, in terms of its contents, it's all about clay. So. It also got a bit wet because um, it was left outside my doorstep and of course it was a day when it was raining so the box itself is a bit looks a bit rubbish um, but there it is artful and you'll see at the bottom it says clay now um, I've already done one video on a clay box um, called sculpt um, you want to have a look at that video and um, please do so i have also made something um, although i haven't painted it yet and once i've painted it um i will do the whole video of me actually trying to create this well i mean it's an abomination but um at some point i will post it that video once i've painted it however got more clay which is very exciting so i'll just open this box and i'll show you what's inside so first of all, I'm going to show you this. Um, this is basically, um, you know, basically tells you all you really need to know about the quality of this of, of this box description. It's a book. It's a really nice book, and it tells you all about what to do with what you've got. So it says, let's learn about clay and other stuff. So. And when you open it, it gives you information about clay. Um, and you see it's got tutorials here. Absolutely great. I mean, the sculpt one also had tutorials in it. Well, I mean, it had cards to explain how to do certain things, but certainly not tutorials of the same sort of like Dan is this. And um, as you see, that's the contents of the box. Tells you precisely what's in it. And then it gives you some information, there's a brief history of clay. And then you've got things like the pay your workspace, that if I didn't do when I created my abomination. And, and tips and stuff like this. So anyway, um, let's have a look and see what's in the box. Isn't this guy cute? Definitely try making him. That's amazing. He is a pinch pot panda. It's amazing. And there'll be a tutorial in here um, um, to show us how to create this bird. 
Right, so let's have a look at the contents so I can read out what things are as I take them out. So, well, the first thing is, is this. This is a book. Um, this is an A5 notebook. This is 20 sheets of 100 GSM light sketching paper, ideal for getting ideas from your head to paper. So, there you go. And it's just um, fairly small and um, notepad, um, plain, plain pages, which you know, to be fair, is quite useful for all sorts of things. So, that's good. I am a bit of a stationary freak, um, although I have bought uh, a remarkable ages ago, but um, I kind of like slipped off a bit and I'm now using some, um, some paper again. I've, there's um, some paper called Made Out of Stone. I do have a review somewhere on my channel and I'm really liking writing on that at the moment. Anyway, I digress as usual. So next I'm gonna show you is a round sponge. How exciting is this? So apparently this is a small round sponge. There's a shock. Ideal for smoothing, so of course when your clay is wet, you can like sort of like use this to roughen away the um, edges. You now also have two of these, which is really generous. Um, it says two uh, 500 mil bags of air dry clay. And it says here, we have included air dry clay in your artful box. Unlike most, this type of clay dries naturally without needing to be fired in a kiln, which is quite useful seeing as I don't have a kiln. Um, it is popular among hobbyists and professional sculptures un alike, not unlike, alike, clearly can't read, for its versatility and accessibility. We have packed the clay in resealable bags which will help keep the clay for around three months. Yeah, it does say that's the sorts used within two months of opening. <coughs> um, and it does have apparently right the date opened in the space above. Okay, so, uh, despite the fact that the space is actually the bottom I was opened on. So there you go. Um, I do actually have some clay left from the sculpt, I've only used one of the pack and they'll give me two there. I've got even more clay now, which is great. More abominations coming up. So, you're going to have, uh, honestly, what I've created for the sculpt one. I will at some point uh, finish that video with the painting and yeah, it will clearly go far. Well, that's probably the worst clay um project ever but anyway so also have okay artful black acrylic perfect for decorating your creations once they are completely dry there you go i've actually got quite a few acrylic paints and some other artful boxes so so making my clay project pretty <coughs> isn't going to be a problem but it was very good to have some more acrylic paint. Nice, quite a decent size one. Artful glossy varnish. When your creations are finished, always a good idea to protect them. Apply a generous layer of this varnish to give a glossy finish. This is something that the sculpt people, I don't think they gave me a varnish. I'm not like, yeah, I think they did actually. But always good to have more. And I've got some tools. So I've got a pencil here. F. F pencil by um, Artful Pencil is always good. Great artwork often needs great planning. This light pencil is perfect for drawing out ideas in your notepad, notebook or laying out your design directly onto the clay. So there you go. So that's a good pad of paper. Uh, we've got a paintbrush, um, I think we can figure out what the paintbrush is for. Uh, add the paintbrush to your ever-growing collection, it's very true, I've got loads of paintbrushes now, thanks to Artful. 
Uh, this brush is great for some detail work and applying coats. There you go. And now it says set of four jewel ended carving tools. I'll show you what they are in a moment. Why your hands are usually the best tool for sculpting and making. These set of jewel ended carving and smoothing tools will be great to help you create definition and detail. They actually look really good quality and probably better quality in the sculpt ones, but um, don't let them know that I said that. So this first one, the loop on one end, and uh, you can see the shape going on there. Again, we have a loopy thing, different shape, and smoothing tool there so the um the loop thing of course will do like you know some kind of like cutting into the clay whilst this, i think the smooth things over from what i understand and probably do some shaping as well i think that's how it works yeah carving shaping yeah and that's the last one so that's it, that's the artful um, thing for this month. Um, absolutely amazing. I've been I was so looking forward to getting this one because I knew it was clay. Um I just hadn't for some bizarre reason I just hadn't got around to um, opening it. Just to give a shout out to someone. I think I mentioned this lady before who emails me oh that's emailed me a couple of times now to say hey if you like your videos it's really nice to get feedback um you know i don't get too many views it very much depends on the video oops um oh. just about all falls over anyway uh, so um but i do know that she's looking forward to um, this clay video. So hi Chantelle, really nice to see you um, and I hope you really enjoy this video and um, and having a look at my air dry um, clay subscription box. Thank you all very much for watching um, hopefully my buddy box will be here soon. Um, I think it was probably posted about a week or so ago and it's probably in custom so um, Hopefully in the next week I'll be able to unbox that. And I'm looking forward to that because I haven't had a buddy box in a very long time. After Brexit, they stopped hosting um, overseas for a while, but obviously got the ship together now. Although I don't suppose um, they've bothered with the custom charge um, thing. It's always really useful, but um, you know, you know, with, uh, you know, companies can't afford necessarily to cover that. Um, particularly charities, which is where the bloody box comes from. Anyway, waffling on unnecessarily. Thank you again for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.